So our second important theorem of this section, we have that if A is an M by N matrix, then the column space of matrix A is a subspace of RM. So we need to go ahead and prove this. So to begin, we're going to let A be an M by N matrix, such that matrix A is defined by the column vectors A sub 1 all the way up to A sub N. And so to prove that the column space of this matrix A is a subspace, we need to recall a theorem from the beginning of chapter 4, so section 4.1. And that theorem said that if vectors V1 all the way up to V sub N in V for some vector space V, then the span of these vectors, so then the span of vector V sub 1 all the way up to vector V sub n is a subspace of V. Again, this comes from section 4.1, and we proved that in our previous case. So if we have a set of vectors v sub 1 through v sub n in some vector space v, then the span of that set of vectors is a subspace of v. So using this theorem, we can observe that since the set of column vectors a sub 1 to a sub n are in Rm, and Rm is a vector space by definition, then we can conclude by this theorem that the span of these column vectors is a subspace of Rm. And this allows us to make our final conclusion that therefore, since we know by definition that the column space of A is defined as the span of the column vectors a sub 1 all the way up to a sub n, then the column space of A is a subspace of Rm. And we have proved this theorem.